Mr. Adams, you're not normally known as a people's photographer, but you have done quite a few portraits. Well, I worked professionally. I did a great many people and things related to people and things with people and, and things for themselves. I did uh, portraitures professionally, but I never liked it because, again, if it didn't stir me to do something on my own with people, it is very difficult to try to manufacture something you just don't understand. And it's failures on my part, not on their part, or not in their necessarily in their character. It's just that I, I, I couldn't control it, so, but I did it as good as I could, and sometimes they liked it and sometimes they didn't. I like this one because of the uh, peculiar quality of light. And uh, again, there was a certain nostalgia in my mind because of the person involved. A very dear old lady on Independence, California. Uh, this is an interesting image. And this was the uh, uh, camp near the shipyards at Richmond. And both parents were off working in the yards on probably double ships. And this boy was keeping the little kids under control. There's actually four of them. And this little kid was being interviewed. And he was scared to death. But the intense element of the thing I see, again, the picture of my mind's eye, and I reach for another camera, a little rolly flex. And I've had no chance to really compose. The whole thing was done in just a matter of a minute. But it's very difficult to print, but it has a certain uh, quality that I like, and I would put it in with my good work. These children were obviously not aware that their photograph no. was taken. But Except when you... I think the little baby was. Yes, that's right. But when you look at the next one, that's a much more posed picture, because these people knew that their photograph was taken. Yeah, that's a very good point. They did. And uh, <clears throat> it was this farm family up in the Sierra Nevada foothills. So I was sitting there, and I was looking around for some, because I had to do the picture, you know. And uh, I thought I found a pretty good location. And then I turned back, and there they were, and that was better than anything. So uh, I just moved in, and uh, we got it. But this picture is coming up. It's a very recent one. Yeah, no, yeah, about November last year. I mean, her face is almost like a landscape. Well, she's an incredible person and one of the very great artists. I said, I want to make a photograph. And uh, she said, oh, why? Why don't you find somebody that's worthy of photographing or some such silly comment? <laughs> so I said, well, I've got a very simple. And, uh, and she sat down and I just looked around and she was just waiting. And uh, I just saw it was trying to organize these various leaves so they seemed to work, we say. So then I said, let's go. So she just looks at the camera and I do it. That's all we do. And then, of course, who keeps on well, my husband, our husband, the Alfred Stieglitz. This is a color photograph, interesting. In the sense, it's done on one of the early Kodachromes, very early 1940s. And uh, we had this print made fairly recently. But uh, the color held very well. It is, it... And it's just sitting in his office with a window light and no artificial light. But talking about color, you do prefer photographing in black and white. I still do, although now with the modern material, things are getting better. But color always seems to cheapen a bit the photo. I mean, is it advertising well, which has done that? Uh, in a sense, see, most advertising photographs are all done with controlled light. And the color values are selected and they, they make the recording. When you get out into nature, you have a variation of what we call Kelvin or color temperature, uh, com a very complex contrast problem, and you can't do anything with it. I mean, the nature, the green may be very beautiful, and the ocean color out there may be beautiful, but it puts to comes together with what the film says is realistic, it'd be very ugly. So part of the visualization that you'd have to consider would be what's going to happen to color? How can I control this color? And, can we have a look at your gallery? I think oh, there are some of the larger ones. Yes, yeah, sure. So it would be very nice to take a look there. So. Fortunately, when we design the house, we can have room for gallery space and dark room. This must be your most famous picture, isn't it? Well, it's the best known, I guess, yeah. 
It's, uh, it's been rather popular. Does it bother you that this image has become so popular and now become this museum piece? No, I think it's good that uh, people like it. I think sometimes the values attributed to it outside are excessive, but it's completely out of my control. This could be seen, and I just happened to see it at an extraordinary moment. And the picture was actually made with a leeway of about 30, 15 seconds, because the sun went off the crosses. He was illuminated from a very western sun going along the edge of clouds. Would you call this a perfect picture? No, it's, it comes pretty close to it, but uh, I couldn't find the exposure meter. And I had to rely on what I knew was the brightness of the moon, or the luminance of the moon, as we say. And I could have given a more exposure with a little more support in the lower areas, but I can't scry over spilt milk. Have you taken the perfect picture yet? No, the best picture is around the corner, like prosperity. 